Hello Aquarius, welcome to the channel guys, it's uh, Rad and uh, in this video we're going to check into your weekly reading uh, for uh, July 18th up until uh, July 20, uh, 24th, 2022nd and uh, if you find yourself guys interested into having a personal reading with me you can always uh, go to my website uh, which link you are going to find uh, in the description down below so without a further ado let's uh, do the cut and uh, see what we got uh, the first card for us Aquarius and I'm saying us because I am also a rising Aquarius uh, that is going to be justice followed by the second card of our spread that is going to be uh, the devil moving on next we do have the third card of the ten of uh, wands and the final card of our spread here stands for the queen of wands so these uh, these four cards is what we have well Aquarius a strong week ahead of us and I'm saying us because I am a rising Aquarius as well and uh, by the way that those cards are kind of looking it seems that the week is going to be quite busy so the whole environment of the week whether into our career or whether into our personal life is gonna call for a lot of a responsibility and undertakings and always gonna hang on on our ability to pretty much manage our time correctly something I'm quite terrible at but it seems that I will have to get the hang of it so that's a digression so uh the whole week is going to be if you will how you can call it it's going to be a chain reaction of a choice making and uh, the test of our ability to make decisions in a way that these decisions are accountable for every single aspect of uh, of the situation and the enterprise itself now the good thing it is that the, 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 the environment itself is not going to have much hidden things. In fact, nothing is going to be hidden at all. So pretty much throughout the whole time, we're going to have that astute discernment of what is important and what it isn't. However, there is going to be a one dilemma out there. And we can see that into the devil card in the spread. And this is the dilemma. Well, yeah, we know it's important, but... Is it really what I want? That is going to be a huge dilemma. So question is, can we do what we want in instead of what we have to? Definitely. Should we? Well, the way that the reading is structured, should we comes into the second position, which is what holds us back from our progress. So no, definitely no. This is a week that we have to take responsibility or we have to attend. To our responsibilities so the week of chores but nonetheless a strong week why well there is this very strong relation in between the ten of wands and uh, which is into the third position and the justice card which is into the fourth position uh, pretty much speaks that we are gonna reap rewards as big as they can get based on the responsibilities we attend let me give you this it's not really an example it's more of a measurement here so big responsibility with mighty efforts exerted it's going to give us a the best reward we can we could ever hope for it's it's pretty much is going to exceed the expectations of reward so if there is a, a moment in time that we got to give our very best into what we're doing whether into our personal life or into our career or into our friendships that that's the moment that is the week the thing it is that the way that these cards are set up here into this reading it means that all the enterprises that we are going to be involved into throughout the week they will have a certain structure rules and expectations we can fit within the structure, we can follow the rules and we can meet those expectations. And if all these three components 
are met, then the reward is going to be something we are not going to regret. And that can be seen very well with the Queen of Wands, which is the summary, the, the, the result of our, of our efforts throughout the week. So if the efforts are directed into getting the attention of someone and that someone is the Queen of Wands, we definitely are going to get their, uh, their, their attention and as well their intentions that we are hoping to get <clears throat> but the thing about the devil being into the second position it uh, gives us this false false assumption that we can get away with anything okay that what we are doing throughout the week matters none that what we're doing throughout the week it, it makes no difference it does even the smallest act even the smallest words, even the most meaningless sentences, they are making impression. Everything matters throughout, uh, throughout this uh, particular week. So with the Ten of Wands being into the third position, uh, it's not just only about following the rules, but it is also uh, about attending to every single demand, every single um, detail, if you will, but above everything else, standing behind thy word. You give a word, you give a promise, you better make sure that you can live up to it. It's not a problem if you do not give it, if you think, or kind of like being able to determine that you, you, you won't be able to live up to that promise, okay? Because once again, we are going to have that astute discernment throughout the week, meaning that we are going to be pretty clear to ourselves that is are we going to be able to do it or not and if we just want to impress and say yeah i'm going i'm going to do it no problem whatsoever but in the same time we realize that's a way too big of a piece for us to bite and and chew up then it's not going to turn out very well for us at all and this is the false sense of uh, what I'm talking about here, the false sense of, of getting away with something. We're going to be held accountable to everything we say, everything we do. So when you do something or when you say something, you better make sure that when you say something, you, are, you, you can live up to it. And when you do something, you can live with the consequences of it because they are coming down whether you like it or uh, not so the summary of all that if you if we do live up to the expectations the demands of the situation then at the end we are going to end up in a very envious position with the queen of wands that means that we are going to be into the center of the events the most wanted person for example into the company we are at okay the most praised person into the business we are at the most uh, wished person into the field of, of um, suitors we are in and so on and so forth. But the Queen of Wands, it's very positive when it comes to making business. And that card speaks that if we do follow the rules and keep up with the demands of our project, by the end of the week, we will establish a prevailing stance through which a huge opening is going to come up to us. Something that we wouldn't be able to, uh, how can I put it into words, wouldn't be able to scale up with if we didn't kind of like met the expectations of the enterprise and once again we can't do it i mean even if we even if it looks overwhelming at the start of the week the expectations of the endeavor and the enterprise we can't live up to those expectations so roll up your sleeves aquarius and get to work because it's gonna worth it at the end of the week and so with that said, Aquarius, that was your weekly tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.